Okay, let's do some more super science. We're outside today, so we're going to have a look at some snails. So these guys are already off and moving. Okay, but I want you to go and have a really good look in your garden to see what you can observe about snails in your garden. So you can go and see if you can find some snails and then we're going to learn a little bit about them. So you can look behind things or under things where things might be a little bit damp and up. Oh, there you go. It's a beautiful banded snail. And if you can see that one, look, a tiny baby one too. And further down there, uh, it's a common garden snail. Um, one of the best places to look for snails are underneath things. So you can look behind plants, you can look behind stones, you can pull stones up and look under stones. They really love to hang out on walls um, and under grass and under other plants and sometimes in plant pots. So you might want to look inside a plant pot to see if you can find any snails. So when you've found your snails, there are probably two main sorts that you're going to find in your garden. This guy here that is called the common garden snail okay and also these little guys here that are zooming around okay that are a banded snail so i'm interested in the banded ones because as you can see i've got lots of different colors of banded snail and they're all banded snails but they come in lots of different colors and that means we can do some really interesting observations of what kind of snails we can see in our garden Okay, so once you've had a really good look at your snails, you can maybe draw them and colour them in, label them really carefully, label all their different body parts if you can get one to stay still while you're watching it. So it's a really good observational skill when you're drawing to look really, really closely and really, really carefully and try and draw the snail as big as you can. The bigger you have to draw it, the more closely you have to look. You can find out what sorts of snails, what different colours of bandings are in what different places in your garden. Maybe you can find a link. Are yellow snails only in the brighter places? Are darker snails in the darker places? Have a look. And finally, when you've finished, don't forget to go and put the snails back in the garden where they belong. So here we go. I'm going to put them back down here. Nice and safe. Where they were before so that they can carry on and get something to eat. Don't forget to wash your hands afterwards if you've been uh, touching the snails. Okay, so if you're a little bit older and you want to find out more about snails, particularly if you're in year six, uh, one of the subjects we study in year six is evolution. And these snails here have been used in lots of studies to do with evolution. See if perhaps you can do some secondary research that's looking up on the web to find out some information about snails. Can you find out what the Latin name for them is? Scientists use Latin names to make sure they all call their animals the same thing. And you might have heard about that in classification. Um, see if you can find out the Latin name and see if you can find out what the link is between these snails and evolution.